My name is Haruto Ito. I work for my father's company as an interior decorator, mainly putting up wallpaper. However, my father hasn't been able to work since he hurt his hip last year. I have been taking care of the company in his place. I'm back! I heard you needed me for something. What is it? Hey, I need your hunko stamp. There we go. You know you don't have to ask me every time you need my hunko. You idiot! Your hunko is proof that the CEO has checked through everything. We can't just press it for you. You need to read through the paper and press it yourself. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Hey, when are you going to stop putting up wallpapers? You're the CEO now. You should focus on that from now on. You two are so much better at the document stuff. It'll be better for you to do it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I know you're just saying that because you want an excuse to leave the office. Go easy on him. Some of our clients request Haruto to do their wallpaper. And you're great at teaching the young ones how to do it. I guess our older brother is meant to put up wallpapers. That's correct. I can't help it. I was born to do it. I think it would be better for me to keep putting up wallpapers until the day I die. We can't deny that he's the fastest and most precise when it comes to wallpapers. I'm just worried about the company. One of you should be the CEO then. No, no way. way. Too, Too much, much responsibility. responsibility. I've always hoped for one of my younger brothers to take over as the CEO, but neither of them wants to do it. Both of them treasure their freedom. I know they don't want to be swamped by their responsibilities of being the CEO. That's why I have two types of business cards. One for being an interior decorator and one for being the CEO of our company. The next day, I was at a client's house as an interior decorator. Harto, the couple, they're watching us the whole time. Yeah, they're probably worried the interior design won't turn out the way they hope it will. But I've realized they're here a lot. I can't focus with them looking over our backs the whole time. And they're in the way. I understand how you feel. I know it's not the best environment to work in, but we gotta hold it in. Okay. The house we were redecorating at the time belonged to a young married couple. They were brazenly rude, and all the guys working with me felt uncomfortable with them watching over us like hawks. Hey, you. Are you sure you're doing it right? Huh? Oh my gosh, don't cut corners just because you think I'm not watching you. Jeez, do you realize we're paying you for this job? You better do it right. What? Excuse me, ma'am. Is something wrong? Our employees are human too. I can't blame them for getting angry towards rude clients. However, I couldn't risk this becoming a huge issue since it could have affected our company's future. It's part of my job to keep everyone calm. I wish I had a motivation switch or something. Working for that couple makes me want to quit and do something new. Yeah, I'm trying to clue the pieces of my shattered motivation at the moment. We're halfway through with the job. We don't have to be here for long. Come on, let's get through this. I'll buy you guys some drinks. However, the young couple kept bugging us. A wife came up to me and started complaining about the wallpaper. I don't think this wallpaper goes with the house. Who picked this? It's so ugly, I could cry. Ma'am, you picked this out of the catalog. Maybe, but it looks different now. I need you to pick something else. This room is too ugly to live in. <sighs> with all due respect, we finished putting up most of the wallpaper. Stop talking back to me. Take it all off. I want a new design. Wait a second. This isn't as simple as it looks. It takes a lot of work to do it. We won't be able to finish on time if we redo everything. What? Make it work. You can stay late and work overnight, can't you? For God's sake. But I can't lose my cool. It's not just about the deadline. Picking a new wallpaper means we'll need to charge you more. What the? Don't you think it's your fault for not checking with us before putting it up? You're ripping us off with that crap job! Uh, we are the most low-priced interior decorator in the area. You would be charged double at any other interior decorator for making the request you're asking us now. You moron! You think you can rip us off because we don't know anything, huh? Don't act almighty! You're just an employee! I'm not trying anything with you. Gosh! Are you sure you want to pick a fight with me? My father's company is in charge of all the materials sold and bought around the area. I could tell him not to sell you any materials anymore. Huh? His father sells materials around here. 
Oh no! Their company is going to go bankrupt! Yeah! And they deserve it! They can't finish any jobs if they don't have the materials! My gosh! Shouldn't you call your boss and ask him to apologize to us for you? The thing is, I am the boss. What? You're just one of the employees! I'm telling you to call the higher-ups of the company! Our company has several subsidiaries, but I am the CEO of the parent company. You can't be serious! Where's the proof? Show me proof! Well, I can go get my business card from the truck. Yeah, right! I bet you're planning on running off! I promise I will be back. I don't bring my cards when I work. Hey, guys. What's going on? Are you fighting? Hey, Dad! I heard your decorators are almost finished with their job. Is something going on here? Thank God you're here! These guys think we don't know anything! They're trying to rip us off, Dad! Father, they are horrible! I asked him to change the wallpaper because it was uglier than I had thought! And now they're saying it'll take more time and cost more money! Isn't that unfair? Dad, you supply them with materials, right? Tell them you'll stop if they don't listen to us! Come on! That's ridiculous. That's just insane. Right? I am so glad you came at just the right time. I'm sure they'll listen to you. My gosh. I am so glad I got here on time. If I didn't, I wouldn't be able to face them anymore. And the humiliation you two would make me go through. Huh? Miss Arito, please accept my sincerest apologies for all the trouble my son and his wife have put you through. Oh, don't worry about it. Your son told me about his father's work, and I was just wondering who it was. I'm glad I bumped into you here, Mr. Kuji. This is so embarrassing. My son has no interest in what I do, and he has no idea what he's talking about. Not that it excuses everything he's done to you. I feel awful. What? I know about your job, Dad. At least the basics. You moron! Do you realize Mr. Ito is one of our most valued customers? If he doesn't buy materials from us, our company will go bankrupt! What? Seriously? You have no idea what you're talking about! You need to apologize to Mr. Ito and his employees right away! I'm sorry. Now that I've apologized, you won't tell your boss, right? You don't have to change the wallpaper. How about we forget about the past and move on, okay? Jeez, Jeez I, I feel, feel so, so bad, bad for him. him. His, his son and his, and his daughter, daughter are, are the biggest, biggest idiots, idiots we've, we've ever met. met! Mr. Ito doesn't need to tell his boss anything! He is the boss, you idiot! He owns the company! What? No way! You are serious? Does anyone have a staple gun? I'd like to use it to shut my son up! Mr. Kuji! Let's all calm down, okay? Or maybe I could apply several coats of varnish so he would stop moving! Save me from more humiliation. Mr. Kuji! Please stop! Just take a breath. Hide all the dangerous tools! After that, Mr. Kuji interrogated the couple. As it turns out, it wasn't the first time they pulled something like this. There were other victims as well. Mr. Kuji was fuming, and I was scared of what would happen to his son. You need to pay them the full price right away! And I can't let them work for you anymore! Wh why? They haven't finished putting the wallpaper up! Do you not understand how rude you have been to Mr. Ito and his employees? You can do the rest yourselves! That way you might realize the amount of work they put into every job they get! But... It's okay. We're basically DIY professionals! We'll make a better room than any of those men can! I agree! We can redo the whole thing to make it a perfect house for both of us! Yay! The couple reluctantly paid for the work that we did. They decided to do the rest themselves. However, I heard things didn't go as well as they had hoped. They ended up fighting, and the wife left the house. They are living separately at the moment. Again, I am so sorry for everything. You didn't deserve to go through what my son put you through. I'm sorry for not being able to finish the job, sir. No, that's not on you. You've been nothing but con. My son and his wife do not deserve your service anymore. Please. Tell your employees how sorry I am as well. Everyone at the scene was gushing about how cool you were, Mr. Kuji. Thank you for defending us. I should be the one thanking you. I hope you'll still consider doing business with me. 
Of course! Mr. Kuji, thanks to your products, our company can provide low price services to customers. Arto is a great CEO. If it were up to me, I would have punched his son and cut all ties with Mr. Kuji. Yeah, he's probably the only one who could take care of a company like Dad did. Mr. Kuji's son tried asking other interior decorators to fix his room. However, rumors had already spread. No one was willing to help him. We all work hard to see the smiles on our customers' faces at the end of a project. I plan on providing the best service for our clients until the day I die. There are no easy jobs out there. Even if a certain job looks easy, there are hidden efforts and hardships that nobody else will understand. I think it's important to respect people who provide services for customers. Did you guys like today's story? Let me know in the comment section. I hope you can come visit me tomorrow. Today's narrator was Shu. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.